These perpetual tensions in the neck, it hurts, you massage, you apply ointment maybe, but it doesn't get better. In this video, I will explain to you how they come about and what you can do to make them finally go away. And so, you know why I recommend these exercises to you. Here's a brief explanation of how they come about. We often sit at the desk while eating and so on, and we are constantly slumping forward. The back collapses because the arms are constantly in front. And then we would normally have to look down, but we have the food there and also the screen there, so we look like this. And suddenly the vulture's neck is there. That's why the tension arises. If you like this explanation, give a thumbs up and write a comment about it. And here you get a video on how you can improve your posture, because that is the underlying cause of many, many neck problems. And towards the end of the video, there is another surprise, namely, which is not an exercise, but rather a rest. Stay tuned. In the exercises that I am showing and explaining to you now, we focus on the overall relaxation of the neck. Let's start. Please sit up straight. You can just go in a little straight away to already have a bit of a guide. Sit up straight, turn your head 45 degrees to the left, bend your left elbow and pull your left shoulder down as far as possible. Then you reach over your head with your right hand, pull your chin towards your larynx and pull your head forward, down and to the right. And then you trigger a strong stretch at the back left. And there you go further in, two to two and a half minutes, and then you do the same on the other side. We go through it again. Head to the right, bend right arm, pull deeply with the shoulder. The left hand goes over the head, and you pull the head forward, down, left. And now the stretching occurs at the back right of the neck. Also increase the time to two and a half minutes and continue to work in. The next exercise is a special exercise. You pull your head down further and further with a straight back. Breathe nicely while doing so. Then you will notice that it starts to pull on the cervical spine and also causes a slight burning sensation. You keep your back completely straight, focusing on the fact that the middle of your neck goes backwards and upwards so that you get a round shape, at least in your imagination. And keep doing that for two to two and a half minutes. And then you already have the tension under control at the back. But often it also extends into the lateral parts, and that's why you're also working on it now. We start with the left side. You keep your head straight, your back is straight, and you pull the left shoulder lower, lower, lower again with the bent left elbow, then go over the head with your hand, but the head is straight now. And now you simply pull it to the side. Attention, if you grip towards the front, you turn it more. If you grip too far back, you turn it the other way. Also grip in such a way that when you pull, you notice that it can stay straight. It doesn't want to turn on its own by pulling somewhere else. That means you keep going further in, shoulder stays low, back stays straight, increase for two to two and a half minutes, always in a way that it is still just bearable. And then you notice it pulls deep here on the side into the throat. You're slowly coming out again, the same thing again, so to speak, on the other side. You bend the elbow again, the right one now, pull the shoulder down with the elbow. Reach over the head with the left hand, test again, turn my head while pulling, wait until you have found the right spot. and pull your head further to the side, shoulder must stay low, back must stay straight, also two to two and a half minutes, and always in a way that it is still bearable. And then you slowly come out again. Now we have the back, now we have the side, and now we go forward because it is always agonist, antagonist, as muscle and opponent, 
counter muscle. Now you sit up straight again. Place two fingers of your right hand on your forehead and two fingers of your left hand on your chin. This is a good starting position because now you can control the movement quite well. And now it can even help I also slide back so that you have your back supported so that you don't dodge with your back. The back is now fixed, so to speak, by the chair backrest. And now the forehead and chin are moving further back. First a double chin, then a triple chin, then an even more diverse chin, and then eventually you realize it's not possible anymore. And when it doesn't work anymore, then you start slowly lifting your chin, and then the forehead goes further back. What you need to do now is to keep your chin as low as possible throughout the entire increasing overextension, as close to your neck as you can manage, in front of the neck or on the neck. And then you overextend gradually higher, and at some point only the head in comparison to the upper vertebra, the atlas, and keep going further back. At some point, you will also notice how it starts to pull in your throat, and that's good. Keep going. And you also increase it for two to two and a half minutes, and then slowly come out at the end. You must always perform these movements of the cervical spine slowly, because they are very, very unfamiliar movements. You will also notice it. That's why you have to listen to yourself carefully. You have to listen carefully when your body doesn't want it anymore and it's already too uncomfortable. Always stay within that range, especially with the cervical spine. It's important to assess this stretching act with a clear conscience so that you can just bear it positively. Your breath should be able to flow. Inhaling and exhaling should be possible. You don't need to clench your feet to endure it and so on. You don't need all of that. If that is the case, then immediately reduce the intensity a little bit. And now we come again to a special application of hyperextension. Namely now, yes, stay tuned. I just wanted to get away from the backrest. Stay calm. You can also use that here. Turn your head 45 degrees to the left. And now reach forward with your left hand over your head to your right temple. Pull your right shoulder down and pull your head back and slightly to the left side in a diagonal position of 45 degrees as you feel a nice stretch here in the front. You also increase it again for two to two and a half minutes and then slowly go out again. And the same on the other side, the same on the right side. Grip with the right hand to the left temple, pull deeply in the left shoulder and pull the head backward, slightly to the right, depending on how you feel the stretch forming in the front here. Also two and a half minutes, two to two and a half minutes increase and then slowly come out again. Now we have stretched everything. That means it's more relaxed and flexible. And now I had promised to show you how you can do this stretching for the neck without any exercise. You can take the neck saver or alternatively a stack of books that have the appropriate height. You have to try a little and then you simply do the following. You simply lie on the neck saver with the lower edge of the skull directly on this bulge. Then it relaxes again due to the pressure. Yes, and that was it.
You can watch TV, read, drinking would be a bit difficult, but listen to music, entertain yourself, not an exercise, but a resting position that now stretches your neck. If you want to increase the intensity a little bit more, then you take your arms and move them backwards, then it will be even more. You can adjust it in the same way to wonderfully stretch and relax your neck. This is suitable for evenings. I prefer to do it in the evenings. Attention, as with the bridge savior, danger of falling asleep, which is actually good because it shows how much the body relaxes. And now a note about the neck saver. It is part of the aid tools I have developed to make it easier to practice so that you can also rest while practicing, save time and make the exercise more efficient. This is accomplished with these aids. It has three different levels here, adjustable for your needs, the height you need. If you want information about the neck saver, please click on the image and then you will get everything you want to know. If you want to try a routine, an exercise routine for the neck, then definitely go here and do it. And otherwise, I always have the big wish that you pass on this information. People need to know that they can help themselves with neck pain. Therefore, spread it, send the video, explain it to them, maybe even show them the exercises and be there, okay? Until next time. Nice to see you around.